Hello everyone and welcome to the fifth part of this MOOC dedicated to the FCC fractionation section. In the first four parts, we spoke about the FCC reaction section and we have described the main frac. We also did a material balance on the column and then we saw how to produce a C1 plus C2 rich gas stream, as well as two streams rich in gasoline molecules. However, in the C1 plus C2 rich gas stream, there is still too much gasoline and LPG molecules. Indeed, we prefer to separate the LPG molecules and especially the propylene to valorize it. We recall that the molecules that will be routed to the refinery's fuel gas network will serve as fuel for the furnaces. I mean, they will be burnt and not valorized as such. Indeed, in this 4 tons per hour of gas flow, we can find about 15 weight percent of propylene, I mean about 600 kilograms per hour. It is to be noted that this flow is very dependent of the FCC unit considered. However, this molecule presents a high added value, especially for producing polypropylene, as we have already seen in the MOOC dedicated to the FCC reaction section. We prefer to recover this molecule rather than use it as a fuel. One possible solution to lower the amount of LPG and therefore propylene in this gas flow is to perform a second absorption with the use of a liquid stream. To do this, a secondary absorber is installed. It will typically be equipped with 25 trays or the equivalent in packing height. For this secondary absorber, we draw a cut from the main frac and it will have an intermediate quality between that of gasoline and that of diesel. This cut is called sponge oil. This gasoline presents the advantage of not containing light molecules and will therefore be very effective in absorbing the heaviest molecule from the gas flow. The gas flow feeds the secondary absorber at the bottom and encounters the sponge oil in a countercurrent flow. This secondary absorber operating pressure is still at about 14 bar. After the secondary absorber, the overhead gas flow becomes about 3 tons per hour. It contains about 21 weight percent LPG and 12 weight percent propylene, or 350 kilograms per hour. So, the propylene flow lost to the fuel gas network has been reduced down by 40%. At the same time, the amount of gasoline in the gas decreases from 9 weight percent down to 1 weight percent. Once the sponge oil has absorbed LPG and the gasoline, it is sent back to the main frac. Now that we have produced a C1 plus C2 rich gas stream, we have now to focus on the two gasoline streams containing a high proportion in LPG. We will discuss about this in the next part. In the meantime, do not forget to test the knowledge by answering the quiz available in the description of the video. You can also get a certificate if you ask for it. I also invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep you informed about the upcoming videos. See you very soon for the sixth part. Bye-bye!